Hello, sweethearts. Uh, new surfboard here to review. The Pucas La Cote at boardshop.co.uk. Um, as you can see, it's a mid-lengthy type thing uh, from the very skilled hands of Axel Lorenz. And it's... <coughs> It's got the credentials of a mid-length, but it's got a lot more performance than you might expect. He set out to make a, a mid-length that he could surf with his daughter, basically. So he kept all the volume through the middle, easy paddling, floaty board, but he wanted it to be a bit more manoeuvrable so that his daughter could stand in the middle and cruise, or it could be surfed off the back foot as well. With a mid-length, lots of people tend to surf it, back foot here, front foot up here, a bit further forward and they find them hard to turn. With this board, you don't need to be right on the tail to get it turning. That's the kind of the ethos behind it. So it's a bit more like the Lost Smooth Operator. It's a mid-length in terms of paddling, wave catching, cruise and flow and glide and all that stuff. But with this four plus one fin set up as well, it's a bit more maneuverable, a bit more fun. And I'd never call it a step up, but if you have that kind of right at the back of your mind, that gives you an idea of the thought process behind it. Um, now with this four plus one setup, you, you can obviously ride it with just a single fin. That's quite hard. Uh, single fin with side bites, that's a bit easier, but it suits best being ridden like this with a quad setup. And these are Harley Ingleby extra large fins that are in it right now, um, and they work really well. So wave range, anything from you know waist to overhead, who, absolutely anybody can surf this board. Obviously, if you weigh 150 kilos, then size it up correctly. And equally, if you weigh 50 kilos, size it up correctly. This is a 7.0, um, and it's just under 50 litres, so it's got heaps and heaps of float um, packed in. If you're looking mid-lengthy type thing, and you're comparing it to a Mark Phipps One Bad Egg, or the Smooth Operator, or whatever, then have a look at the volumes, because the volumes size up differently in this board. It carries a bit more meat to guarantee the wave count um, and give you all that extra glide. <coughs> you can see the nose is fairly pulled in. It's not too much volume up there. The wide point, obviously, with this colour board is quite far forward. Then uh, proper V running into the tail, just where the actual rent sign is, uh, and that helps loosen the board up and get it turning. And the rail profile firms up just in front of the fins to give you that kind of pivot point, but it comes up to about here. So that's what I was saying, that your back foot doesn't have to be right back over the fins to get it turning, because the rail and the V running into the board um, help with that bit of manoeuvrability. So, um, we love a mid-length, and we love a mid-length with a little bit of a twist, and the Pucas La Cote has got that um, extra added element than just being a flat plank that's going to cruise down the line. It's got that fun factor to it as well. So, um, online right now, obviously, uh, you can custom order, Buy on finance, 0%, or you can trade an old board against it. Any information you need, just give us a shout, get in touch. And there it is, the Pucas Lacote.